Hey, what's going on coaches? It's Coach Swift here at Make Money Coaching Sports. I am your sports performance uh, training coach, okay? So right now is the time of the year where a lot of y'all, uh, probably every one of you has kids that are returning back to school. Um, the schedules are jam packed those first couple weeks. Every, uh, parents are just trying to navigate their way through um, the school schedule before and after school practice schedules, um, if they still are going to other club clinics that you know their teams provide, and then what kind of time do they have for you? And if you're struggling to get over that $3,000 to $5,000 a month range, um, this time of year can be very tough because you just came from an awesome late spring, summer, where cash was just rolling in almost unstoppable, right? And now, and it's, a, it, it's slow, it's boring, it's quiet. Uh, you're kind of worried, what do you do? Do you uh, try to market kids who are in other sports, but they don't uh, play a fall sport? Um, you know, if I'm a sports performance coach, that's what I would do. Uh, but even if you are a skills coach and you're doing uh, a sport that is currently in season right now, the first thing you should do is, uh, the easiest thing on businesses is to have retention, reach out, um, you know, to your current list of kids that you did have, the ones you made the most recent impact on and their parents. And those need to be the ones that you try to talk to about training, you know, even one time a week. Um, scientifically, yeah, for sports formats, you want to go two to three times a week in a six to eight, nine, 12 week span. But, you know, you're trying to keep them engaged uh, in how your training is, show them that you can train, uh, in the season with weights, with speed, um, you know, with skills, like, you know, how does that look compared to summer? Um, how does the volume look? You can show them some scientific literature. Okay. This doesn't have to be the time of year where everything dies off and you're just counting down till November when their season ends in hopes of giving everybody back. I remember November coming and thinking, thank God I have all these teams, uh, they're going to go to playoffs or they're not going to make playoffs. And so gradually each week uh, by middle of November, early December, I'm going to have most of my kids back. Um, I used to count down to that. And now I, I really don't count down that way because I maintain a certain percentage of business year long, even in the slowest time, which is traditionally when school starts for me. Okay. Um, am I as busy as I would be in the middle of late spring, summer? Absolutely not. But the goal is to never be at your lowest. Every year uh, when I would work on uh, going through my list and getting people to do group and season training uh, one time a week, my goal every year wasn't necessarily to make August or September be as profitable as June and July. That's not a fair comparison. The, from the year before, I always wanted to be 25 to 30% bigger. Okay, I set a very... Um, a very easy goal to make uh, that would add up over time. And that kind of momentum would carry over into the winter, would carry over into the spring, which then, you know, into the summer. And it would always help me rebuild uh, my list if kids graduated or they just quit playing sports because that was the time they chose uh, that they were done with it. Uh, people are going to notice not only who's coming in looking awesome for the season and what do they do, who in – week six through 10 entering playoffs as still looking as fast and fresh and powerful and dominating like they were in week one or preseason. Okay. Parents are going to notice that kind of performance decline everywhere else. They see it all the time in club and, and uh, school team play, but they notice who isn't falling uh, off the, uh, the wagon, their performance. Okay. They're always going to ask, what are they doing? Okay, is it something they did before the season? Now they're gonna be asking, what are they doing during the season to stay on like this? Is it something their team's doing? But it can't be their team because the rest of the teammates are kind of falling off the wagon. All right. Um, and on that note, middle school is the easiest age to get this in the fall. Uh, why is that? Well, middle school has a little bit more relaxed schedule. Uh, one. You know, sports like volleyball and right now in the fall, they only play one time a week. High school plays two times a week. Um, practices, they, they get out a little, they get out of school a little bit sooner. So even if they have after school practice, that ends a little sooner. They can come over. Okay. It's usually not as intense. Um, when they do play their games, it's like 
Wednesday or Thursday. They are done for the week after that. Uh, so you can have a weekend thing going on, weekend clinics. Uh, if they don't have after school practice and they play later in the week, you can do beginning of the week, okay? Um, there's so many things you can do with middle school kids. And middle school kids, once again, that's long-term retention. And most of the phone calls I get from parents these days are actually middle school ages of uh, 11 through 14, which tells me, and you know, maybe this is just sports performance, that a lot of people are calling a lot more for their kids to get sports performance training at a younger age. And right now, I've seen a lot more female uh, parents of female athletes that are calling because they know... We've been doing all these skills lessons for soccer, um, volleyball, basketball. But, and they're doing great in skills when they play off other teams throughout the city, throughout the state. But athletically, what do we need to do now that they can't get at school or that they need more of? They don't get enough time and uh, observance at school, okay? Um, so on that, so middle school, go off your middle school list first. Uh, middle school, I would say even through freshman, maybe JV, those are the easiest list to maintain during the fall season. Show them some basic literature about how even one time a week, and yeah, it's based on um, you know this in-season literature of colleges, but if you do one time a week, you're still better off because you're a young kid, you're, you're still busy, and uh, it's going to add up. We can always add uh, more sessions throughout the week uh, when schedules become more stable. Their season also ends sooner. They don't, most of them don't have playoffs. Most of them don't have end of season tournaments. It's going to end sometime in October. Okay. Um, you might as well get that buzz in right now and uh, talk about keeping them in shape, keeping their strength up, maintaining 80% of what they've worked for. So that way the parents money and you can tell them this isn't for loss. So you got to keep playing. You got to keep paying a little bit invest, but at least that money they put up for you and all those camps and clinics in the summer and spring are not to waste, okay? So that's the easiest way to get out of the three to $5,000 uh, rat race that you're stuck in right now. How to problem solve for the fall. We all know how to make money in the middle of spring and summertime. When school starts back up, how can you minimize the amount of money your business loses? How can you start making a lot of money? So that way, when you end the year and start the new year, you are on top by a lot, okay? Um, then it's just a matter of, getting people signed up for upfront money for the rest of spring and summer, okay? Uh, those are the easiest actionable steps. If you wanna learn more about this, uh, you know, feel free to direct message any coach on here. Uh, my number, you can text me 210-414-3077. I'll give you those actionable steps, speak a little more clearly on it, you know, about 20 minute phone call, that's probably all you're gonna need. And you're gonna watch your revenue uh, be a lot better this fall before their uh, off season starts in the winter time, okay? So once again, any questions, uh, let us know. We're really down to help you get over that three to $5,000 hump now. So that way you don't have those humps uh, to get over in 2024.